All right, uh, Shalom. <clears throat> Before I start, let me give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bahashem, or Chachrash, the honors to the apostles, and Elder Ray Millstone. Peace, blessings, and citations to all the like the Akim, Wak, Wathim, learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. All right, just another quick video. This, uh, I just, just I just happened to come across it. Don't remember when, uh, maybe a couple days ago, two days ago, one day ago, earlier today, don't know. But it says IUICY joined IUIC, and it was. One Israelite woman giving another Israelite woman an interview on camera about being an Israelite, which is already uh, ridiculous in and of itself. But when you listen to the woman on the right, when she's giving her expl explanation for joining, this is these are all, you see, here at Great Millstone, the elders and apostles, there's a reason why they don't have a big building with where the men and the women are congregating together. We don't have our women on camera and got our cookouts on camera and, you know, promoting that big, happy family man uh, lifestyle. All right. This is why we say the women need to be in the shadows and in the back, simply listening and learning from their man. And if they do not have a man, just listen and learn. And, uh, and as the word is, I believe, shaquat, which is silence or quiet. All right. It is not for a woman to be holding up the microphone, giving her reasons for joining, because everything she lists off is carnal and temporary. She had said, oh, I joined IOSC. I see, oh, they're building things and they're doing this and that. Everything that, that is being built here in America is soon to be destroyed. Why would you join? So if you join an Israelite group because you see they got buildings, these buildings are going to be burned up in nuclear fire. All right, I'm, I'm trying to remember some of the other things that she said, but, you know, she said something about the kids uh, uh, keeping the laws. I can't remember everything exactly, but this, and I'm going to leave it in the description, but this interview just shows you there's a reason why the Most High, Yahweh B'Hashim Yahweh Shai, deals with the men first. All right, the women are supposed to be in order and silence. All right, we're not... America is not where we're, where we're going to build the kingdom. This is not the time for 20 wives, 100 kids, a big old mansion that you got through uh, extortion of your congregation. All right. If you got a woman, keep them to yourself in the house, taking care of the house. All right. This is this is silliness. If you sit and watch, this is silly. The, the woman on the left asked her, what's her favorite scripture? And the woman in blue just said Ecclesiastes chapter two. She just she, she said the whole chapter. She didn't even say the verse. She doesn't. All right, we're gonna get some scriptures now. Let's just get some scriptures. Being in this truth is not about the things that are super superficial or the things that are physical. All right, let me get a. Uh, uh, this truth you need to have a, a spiritual foundation in which a lot of people. And that her doing that video, it's a testimony. A lot of those people in IUIC, they're in this truth for physical reasons, for things in which uh, that they can see. All right. We're supposed to be in this for the spiritual. All right. Not because uh, 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 we got buildings getting set up. Brothers looking fly in their garments. We looking holy and royal. That's not what this is about, man. Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. All right, Salah, let me do this real quick. All right, Salah, this is uh, Matthew 7 and 24. It says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, man, all right, which built his house upon a rock, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened to a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. So great is the fall going to be of IUIC and a lot of other camps and a lot of other Israelites that are in this for the wrong reasons. This is not the Sarah, Sarah, sis, uh, uh, Daughters of Sarah program rehab foundation center for abused Israelite women. All right. There's not what this is, uh, truth is about. This is for the men, the Israelite men, the uh, specifically the elect.
to stand back up on their feet, to prophesy, to push this word out, to wake up the other, the, the, to wake up the rest of the elect, and to wake up the one third that are gonna believe. All right. If you're a woman and you believe in the truth, you know you're Israelite. You know the true names. There's nothing wrong with that. That's entirely fine. But when you do things like this, when you get on camera and start talking, this is where the issue falls in line. This is where adultery happens. This is where sin happens. All right. And our elders and our apostles tell us these things because they experienced it at One West. When you have a bunch of grown testosterone filled men in a building with a bunch of grown estrogen filled women. Things is going to get haywire. Thing, and we, we're in this wicked flesh. Bad things are going to happen. All right. If King David got caught up in it, any of us could get caught up in it. And that's just that. that that's just how it is. All right. So these two even being on video exposing themselves to the world is goddamn folly. Because now you got men think, oh, that be that's just a beautiful. I hope she's not married. I'm sure she might be married, but that's just a beautiful. It just creates a whole issue. All right. These people, a lot of Israel is building on sand, all right? When the destruction comes, they're going to get knocked over. They're not being built on stone, on a good ground, on good proper soil. A lot of Jake is being built on sand, like I said in the scripture. When the great flood comes, when Esau, the so-called white man, let me get that. Uh, let me get this real quick. All right, when that flood comes, a lot of Jake is going to get washed away with it. Because they're not ready. You think those two women are ready for what's to come? Do you honestly think they sit and ponder about Jacob's trouble? About the fact that their children might die in front of them? That their children might get tossed out to die uh, of starvation out in the cold? Or get torn to pieces by dogs or something? Alright? They're not thinking about things like that. Why? Because they're uh, too caught up with stuff like that. Alright, Salak. So uh... Uh, Salat, come in as a flood. I was looking for the scripture. Uh, Salat. I believe it to be Isaiah. I don't know why I can't. Uh, let me just type this in real quick. I'm going to just get this. I believe it's Isaiah, Salat. Yep, Isaiah 59 and 19, it says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun, which is the east, sun rises in the east, uh, basically the whole world. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, all right, the enemy, Esau, the so-called white man, he's going to try to come exterminate us, Jacob. He's going to try to come exterminate people who do videos like this. Do you think these two women are aware of that or care? When was this uploaded? De uh, December 20th, uh, uh, four days ago. Do you think they're, they are anywhere near that mindset? No. All right. And truthfully, it's the man's job to be in that mindset. And when the man is in his proper mindset, he's not going to have his woman out here doing dumb shit like this. So if these women have husbands, them motherfuckers is going off because they letting them do this dumb shit on camera. All right. We're about to enter a, a, de a, a deadly serious time. All right. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. So the elect are going to have to be raised up. Uh, uh, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord and Savior, Michael, the archangel, are going to have to be lifted up to come save us. That's how bad it's going to be. Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as was never such as was such as never slack, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. So we're about to enter a horrible time in which has never been, to where the Lord is gonna have to give spiritual powers to his elect, send down his angels, send down his son, send down the archangels. In order to protect his people from Esau and these heathens. Alright? That's how bad it's going to get. That's why doing things like this is not optimal. And you have idiots in the comment board clapping it on like always. Mostly probably women. This is why we... This is why, and if you're a woman, you watch this. Or any of the women that watch Great Millstone. 
This is why we say these things. We're not faggots. We're not gay. We don't, we don't actually hate women. All right. We under, we, women are not acting the way that they're supposed to. So a lot of y'all have to die. This system has allowed a lot of women to act in a way in which is masculine and very unholy and wicked. Those that's going to get right, good. But those that don't want to get right, those are the ones that are deemed and slated for death. Those are the ones that we talk about that have to be obliterated or put in check. And these two women right here are giving off traits that need to stop. It's not for a woman to be getting on camera. All right. If you're not getting on camera prophesying, don't turn, don't turn the camera on. All right. This is silliness. This is madness. Once again, she doesn't even, you listen to her. She doesn't even give a good proper explanation of how she even joined. She doesn't even remember the first video she watched. I can tell you, I can pull up the first video I watched right now. All right. And the other first channel from the the brothers I started watching, they took down the old channel. Otherwise, I could go to them. But I can pull up the first video right now. All right. This is for the men. The men are being called first. The men go out and teach. All right. They teach their women at home in silence. All right. Let me just get another one because IUIC is notorious for leading people astray, specifically women. 2 Timothy 3 and 6. For of this sort are they which crept into houses and led captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts. So IUIC is leading men and women away with diverse lusts. These women have no idea what's going on at all. And nor do majority of people that know that they're Israelites. A very select few. All right. So that's that's it on that. All right. With that, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai Bahashim or Khachrash. Don't want us to the apostles. That was a great millstone. Peace, blessings, and citations to all like Akim, Wakwatim learning and teaching the truth and sincerity. All right. If if you're a woman, you come across this, be quiet, disappear somewhere, watch in silence. If you have a man, obey him at all times. If you don't, sit and watch in silence and pray that the Lord sends you a man to save you. Don't be on camera. Bumping your gums like a wicked woman, all right, like one of them heathen women, all right, shalom.